The 64GB and 256GB 9th generation iPad models continue to be available for $329 and $479, respectively. They are still offered in the same silver and space gray color options, meaning that there has been no change to the pricing or available configurations of the device. The entry-level iPad is an important device in Apple's lineup, particularly for the education market, because it provides an accessible on-ramp to basic computing on the iPad at a low price point. Despite being successive generations of the same device, there are substantial differences between the 9th and 10th generation iPad that justify their $120 difference in price, which may make it difficult to choose which device is best for you. So should you consider buying the 9th generation iPad to save money, or do you need the 10th generation iPad instead? This breakdown serves as a clear way to see all the similarities and differences between the two devices. Apple iPad 2022 vs iPad 2021 Specifications and Features The new iPad 2022 comes with a larger 10.9-inch screen compared to the iPad 2021's 10.2-inch screen. However, both have an IPS LCD display panel with 500 nits brightness and scratch-resistant glass with olefobic coating. The iPad 2022 comes with the more powerful A14 Bionic chip instead of the A13 Bionic chip on the iPad 2021. The generational leap makes the iPad 2022 a more capable performer in general use as well as for intensive tasks like gaming, editing, etc. The rear camera on the iPad 2022 gets an upgrade, and it now comes with a 12MP single camera that can record videos at up to 4K 6 diffs, compared to the 8MP rear camera on the older iPad, which maxed out at 1000 Both iPads get a 12MP front camera but the iPad 2022 gets a new horizontal layout for the front cam. Differences Overall, the 10th generation iPad will be the more suitable device to buy for most people. With a faster chip and more memory, the 10th generation iPad will be the better long-term purchase through annual software updates, not to mention 5G connectivity on the cellular model. Apple appears to be gradually transitioning to USB-C across all of its devices, so buying a device with this port instead of Lightning may be helpful in years to come. The design of the 10th generation iPad is also considerably more future-proof, fitting in well with any of Apple's modern iPad or all screen. The larger display, better performance, USB-C port, and Magic Keyboard Folio support may also make the 10th generation a more useful productivity-focused device. The landscape front-facing camera will be better for video calls, while the rear camera offers more advanced photography and videography capabilities. It is also worth noting that some users may simply prefer the 10th generation iPad's modern design and vibrant array of color options. By comparison, the 9th generation iPad offers a good balance of the most important basic iPad features, but in an older design with slightly less advanced technologies. Prospective customers that simply need a new iPad at the lowest possible price are unlikely to care about many of these differences, so it may not be worth the extra $120 in some cases. Generally, where possible, it will be worth the upgrade to them. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.